Hi guys, welcome to the Double Star Resort, a resort that was abandoned years ago. It would have been a popular location for the Chinese people if they wanted a holiday by the coast. Now it's left derelict to rot in the winter and collect dust. Today we're going to explore and see what's inside this abandoned luxury resort. Let's begin. Wow, even as we're walking in, you can see the kind of decorations they have for this building. The architecture, this kind of dragon style. So the theme of this resort kind of pays tribute to some Chinese gods and things like this. And that's what we'll see as we're walking up these stairs. Oh wow, just to our left straight away, we see these gods here. Just in this little cabin. Let's have a look. Wow, left here with some offerings and we can see the whole city. Just get an idea where we are guys, but let's head in. This resort is huge, has things like a, a water park, hotel rooms. Look at this great big dragon. Whoa. And as we're walking, you can see the outside of this hotel so double. Uh, the group Double Star was actually the Nike and Adidas of China before Nike and Adidas actually came here. They were producing sports shoes and obviously they had so much money that they delved into other sectors. They wanted to become a well-known brand worldwide. So that's why they probably also started to dive into the hospitality sector and start making resorts and hotels. Obviously, this one didn't stand the test of time. But as we go in here, look at all these gods we're seeing. Wow. Look at this. Okay, but I don't want to stand outside too much because the guard might be able to see me. Let's try head in here through these doors. All these doors are padlocked here. I'm going to get in. Probably just have to climb over. Oh, there we go. All right, we're up. Up and over. Hi, right, guys. We're in the uh, we're in the abandoned resort. Okay, let's go to the top. Let's just quickly scope this place out. But we need to find an entrance point to get into to get into this hotel. I think this is just a roof. Wow. At the tallest point now. Let's see if there's a door. Ah! There's a door, and it's filled with these gods again. Oh, man. These gods are super scary with their, their eyes and things. Hopefully none of them moved, but wow. Look at all this artwork on the wall. Story of someone cooking some potions, some flying gods with their offerings. Wow. See this little door here. Let's see if this opens. Oh, it's a toilet. Okay, it's just a standalone toilet. So we can't use that one. Let's see where else we can go. There's a few windows here, but no door. I think they're all locked as well. Yeah, they're all tied up with metal. Okay, no luck. Alright, looks like this one has been smashed. Smashed open. Right, we're in. Okay, well, I guess we need to climb over. Fuck, it's super dark though. Let's go. Alright, be careful with this glass, look at all of it. It's been smashed on the floor. Okay, 
Hi guys, we're in. This would have been the reception room. This resort. The fuck is super scary going alone in the dark. Whoa. Look at all these pictures of Chinese offices and things. Okay. This must have been the leader of the group who might have made double star, I'm guessing. And that's why they're celebrating him here, all these pictures. Well, it looks like some sports clothes. And as I was saying, look, he's got a picture of a gold shoe. So this brand was like the, the sports brand of China back in the day. And they're trying to just show how much of a good man that classic thing to do, always get a picture of the foreigner. But yeah, look at that, going into local communities. This must have been the famous double star sports shoe. Right, this looks like just a room to celebrate him because there's nothing else here. I thought we were gonna go downstairs. Okay, so we actually need to find another, another place to go down to find where, to find where the rooms are for the hotel. That's where we need to be going. So let's try and do that. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, we're walking around guys, and it seems like the only way through is through this little window and this little hole. So we're gonna climb in, jump over. It's a lot safer than that one because that has a huge drop. And the last thing I wanna be doing is breaking my ankle, especially here, you don't wanna be shouting and getting someone to come and save you because no one's gonna save me here. But yeah, let's try this. Let's try this. Let me zip up all my pockets, make sure I don't lose anything. But wow, look at this huge drop we have here. made it. So I was climbing in there, had some poles and things you should grab onto. Let's head down. Yeah, but I'm covered in dust now. Let's check this place out. So we're going into our first room. This looks like it could have been the, the resort shop. You have these barrier, these sort of stands in here for hats. Obviously you can see here, and this place has a really unique smell. Boxes of goods are still left here. Just trash and everywhere, I wonder what's inside. Look at this old paper scrunched up. I wonder how old that must be. But let's keep going. Old abandoned chairs. Wow, super spooky. It's all the sports where I'm guessing in this resort if you want to go play volleyball, or play tennis, this is where you come. Look at all these things on the wall. This probably would have been a shop. You would have had a salesperson here helping people get their, get their goods. Go through this room. I guess this is the back room of the of the shop. Maybe where they would have kept all the different parts, all the shoes, all the balls and rackets would have been stored here. But not much left behind in here. Just empty boxes, bits of rope and metal. In the catalogue, maybe what they had sold. Ah, look at this. There's another room. It's the toilet. Men's toilet. But yeah, 
Let's see we're just in the middle floor. Hi right, guys, let's head downstairs. Let's go check out more of this place. I can't believe these places still exist. Just left here abandoned. Let's check out this room. I'm sure every room has a name because we're seeing this red Chinese characters on here. It seems like a shopping mall. Wow, they're super quiet in here. It's so spooky, I'm not kidding. Oh, it's really scary. Got flowers on the floor. Some mannequins of people. God. That's a weird thing about a shop. It's have these mannequins left behind. Not even the arm. Jesus. He looks like he's dressed as a spaceman. But yeah, so empty and so much dust. It's just rotty in here, you know. Even has some kids. Oh, fucking hell, it's stuck in it. Even has some kids' sports shoes. But yeah, I could have donated these to a charity or something. But it's left here. Look how old they are. This must have been the brand. Wow, look at all these. They have this writing F Man. And all this would have just been knocked down back in those times. But yeah, you could get an idea, this is a resort for kids as well. A lot of families would have come here, maybe bought some of these boots, explore the mountains or play in the park. Does it have the price on it? Let's have a look. How much was a pair of shoes back in the day? I don't think it says. It doesn't say, but... Super scary. Look at these just empty shoe boxes, piles and piles of this brand. What's it called? Yeah, yeah double star, celebrity shoes. So back in the day when this company many focused on making shoes, they'd be selling them in these resorts. So I guess this resort was also like a, a marketing tool for the brand. Look at all these mannequins that's left behind. Let's keep going. But I don't think they sell shoes anymore. I think that's uh, that's long gone. That's a mannequin. They're the creepiest part about this journey. Just <laughs> dead plastic people lying around. Look at that. Good deal on, 199. Twenty dollars for some shoes, I'm guessing. Fuck out. Let's continue to make our way down. So I'm guessing each one of these rooms. Oh, that's so creepy! Fucking hell! That little boy. Oh, all these, all these mannequins everywhere. What do you expect in a shopping mall? Yeah, look at this, doubler, doubler star. The E's fallen off. Should try to put it back. There we go, if you can see that, double star. See what's behind this door. Wow, it's like a cave. A cave in the mountain. Yeah, so they kind of would have had to dig this hotel into the mountain just to just to construct it. Don't know how safe that would have been, but we probably would have had to make some kind of bomb to reshape it. And that this must be some kind of rules of the shop.
And that is what we saw earlier on those kid shoes. That must have been the kid brand called F Man. It's a rundown catalog just collecting dust. Yeah, this is what we saw earlier, all those kid shoes down upstairs. Oh man, what a place. It's full of so many people here back in the day. Place to carry shoes. It's the other side of the cave. Let's keep moving. Okay guys, let's continue going downstairs. It's winding stairs. And we're now in the dragon's teeth. But let's see what lies beneath here. Okay, so that would have been the front door where we should have gone in. But this has been the main entrance that most people would have seen once we come to this mall. It's been tipped over. Okay, we have this stand here. Maybe the receptionist would have stood here, greeted the customers. Got some leftover keys and the pen she would have written down or he would have written down to take some notes they even left us a number wow so this must have been the price of some shoes 800 rmb which is like ten dollars 600 550 420 jesus christ all this is left behind bloody hell Let's keep going. It's so eerie, this place. Can't hear anything. Just your footsteps. Look at that. It's got like some black mold growing on there. And there. And this must have been their slogan. Fighting never ends. Yeah. Very true. But look at how many shoes they must have sold here. Look at that, this is where for classic shoes. You've got comprehensive training. Ping pong shoes. <laughs> it's probably the most Chinese thing you can find. Ping pong shoes. Didn't even know that was a thing. But apparently there, there are. You can buy ping pong shoes. Wow. And look here, this is from 2011. Okay, so 2011. This is when this lady here was champion. Okay, so maybe that's when it closed. Let's have a look. 2011 as well. So this must be at least 10 years old. Yeah, look at this. This is a sailing competition. So if you watch the other videos, Qingdao is by the coast. And that's where we are right now. So I'm guessing this was closed in 2011 or 2012. So over 10 years ago, this place must have been abandoned. Just left here. So sponsored sports teams, people sailing, people running. Ah, oh, Happy New Year 2012. Yeah, this must have closed around that time. And this is the bottom of the tail. Can we get out this way? No, it's all padlocked up. Let's head up. Let's get out of here. Oh. Look how steep those stairs are. Bloody hell. So let's walk out this tiny hole. I'm not sure what else there is to see, but let's climb back out through this little window.
Oh, I'm through. Oh man, couldn't be a contortionist. That's for sure. Bloody hell. Alright, let's find out. Oh, it's starting to get like dark and really, really foggy as well. Let's climb over this. Put some wire along with me. Okay, let's see what else is around here. Okay guys, it's starting to get quite dark, but what I'm going to do, I've had a look at the area, I can either go to those rooms down here, the must have been old hotel rooms, or head to the right, where there's more rooms over there. So, I'm going to have a look and see which one is possible. Let's head down. Yeah, it's starting to get quite rainy now, guys. There's a guard right at the front, maybe he goes home at five, or maybe he just lives here, who knows. But I went there this morning, well, like early on, just to check out the front. And that guard had a dog. So I thought, right, no way we're getting him through those red doors down there. So let's make our way down. Okay, I'm gonna go down this way. Hopefully, they get spotted. Stay close to the trees. Okay, find a little door. We can get through, maybe through here. Yeah, but yeah, it's starting to hell down now. But it's not raining, but the hell isn't that hard. So it's okay, I guess. As long as we don't get soaking wet. Wow, look at these big gates you have here. What a broom. <laughs> Security is there. I saw a broom, which means there's probably a cleaner or something somewhere. Looking after this place. I want to get out of his sight. So let's go through these houses. I think as long as we see one of the rooms, we're fine. Okay, let's go down here. See a uh, accommodation. Oh, let's see if it's climbable though. Getting down is okay. We need to route back up. Oh, that's a huge drop. Okay, if we walk further down. We can. We can find our way. There we go, we've got some stairs. Okay, hi right, guys, so this whole street is a row of houses. These have been rooms where families could have stayed. This one would have looked like back in the day. That was completely empty. Let's go in. Okay, of course. The doors are the doors locked. For sake. Have to climb through that window, I guess. Let's see if there's another entrance. around the side. Okay, some of his windows have been left open. Let's try. Okay, I think that's the back door. I think this is the front door. But yeah, look at all the apartments they had, all the rooms place would have had so many. Okay, fuck, this one's open. Right, 
let's check this one out and then after we'll go this is getting so dark fuck me Okay, if we can get in, what's blocking this door? Right, it looks like we're gonna have to climb through the window unless we can slip our way through. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna fit through there. Let's um, climb through the window. Oh, this door's open. Okay. Let's go here. It's a bathroom. Wow. This one even has a bath. So this one would have been one of the rooms you rent. Comes with a bath. Quite spacious, shower head. Even a toilet. Everything you need. It's heating here, or is that a bell? Oh shit. This is one of the rooms. Double bed. Wow, it's in this resort. Could have stayed in here. Footprints on the table. Someone stood on this. Look at that. Two double bed. Imagine a couple and their weekend away in this resort. And it stayed here. Oh fucking dust. Covered in Chinese new newspaper. What year is that from? Uh, 2008. Ooh, fucking hell, it's super old. Okay, I think this floor, this hotel room, there's quite a lot of stairs. Fuck me. That's the door we're trying to get through. Oh man, this is so spooky. Fucking hell, it's getting shivers down my spine. I can just imagine the people that are gonna live here. Oh man, this is so scary. Already as I come in, hairs on my neck, back of my neck are standing up. Mirror, double bed. Fuck, it's probably the scariest thing I've done. Look at the size of this bathroom. Oh man. <sighs> Toilet. Man. This is so spooky going alone. And it's starting to get proper dark outside as well. Oh, fuck. Double bed. Again. Right, there's an upstairs. I don't fancy going upstairs, but fuck it, let's do it. Just, uh, this was the back door, I'm guessing. But that's where we need to go. Oh, this door's locked. Oh, let's go upstairs, covered in dust, this place. Just left to rot. But you can imagine how many people would have stayed here. Oh man. So, this is so spooky. Okay, let's have a look. Some more bathrooms. 201, okay, so this is like a hotel, hotel style. Every room has their own bathroom and room. Oh, I wish this door was already open, for fuck's sake. Okay, we have another double bed. This comes with a little lounge area. This must have been one of the more pricier rooms. But every room, every room looks quite, quite similar. There's another room on the outside there. As you can see. Oh man, this was like a fucking horror, mo horror movie. <laughs> Let's keep going. And they all have this really funny smell. I think the dust smell. Wow, okay, so this is what's called a mahjong table. It's not a snooker table or anything. But you see how it has the same kind of felt as a snooker table. 
this thing would close down and you'd have four players, one here, one here, one here, one here. And it's kind of like dominoes. You have these dominoes in laid out here and once this closes. I don't really know how to play the game, but it requires four players. But they have these great big machines to deal all the, the things for the game. And you can play cards as well. Another bedroom. Oh, bad. <laughs> I'm always looking over my shoulder. Fucking hell, this is so spooky. Oh man. Okay, bathroom again. I'm just scared I'm going to hear some noises or something. But yeah, look at these great big baths. Not common in like a typical Chinese household to have a bath. So coming to a resort is quite a, a luxurious thing to, to do. Just give you an idea of these rooms. This is like a double bed again, two double beds or singles, or I don't know, whatever you call them. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, this one's been ripped to shreds. Air conditioner falling off of the wall. It even has something, I think that's where you can play music or something. Got some leftover slippers under there. So in hotels, people always wear their slippers. They don't walk around barefoot or in socks. Okay. All right, I think that's all the rooms, but this is 205. But you can imagine every kind of room looks the same. And no way am I gonna go to every single room. That would just be fucking scary. If you want me to come back and see every room, let me know in the comments, because I, can, I cannot do that alone. How scary it is, there's two seats. You just imagine someone sitting in them. Let's get out. Look at all the leaves left over. Okay. Oh man. Goodbye abandoned hotel room.